fish. One of the coolest things about Canutes and Cove Marina, it's, it's fun for everybody in the family. So not only do, do we have boat rentals and kayak rentals and all that, we have guys like Finn uh, and girls coming down and fishing. They spend a lot of time on the docks during the summer and pulling, I don't know, how many different types of fish have you pulled up? Like um, six. Six like, different types. I bet he's pulled up 20 different types of fish. I've seen him with halibut, big rockfish. They're going to try to drop, drop the crab pot. But Finn is one of the best dock fishermen in catch can that I know. I'm glad to have Finn down here. He's down here a lot and we enjoy him. All right, we're going to drop this crab pot at Knutson Cove Marina right over there. But first we have to grab bait. A uh, whole salmon carcass. That should be good. So we're opening this up with that bungee cord. We're uncliffing this. Like that. Taking the bungee cord and strapping it back up. All right, we're dropping it. We're gonna leave this pot throughout the night and we're gonna pull it tomorrow morning. This is Alaska Waters and we're dropping crab pots. We're probably gonna get some snails, um, flounder, little tiny red rocks, and um, I'll say a rockfish or a sculpin. We're gonna leave this here and we're gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna put one of these little guppy worms with one of these long hooks. And I'm going to put it through the very top. Through it halfway. Come out like this. Put it in that really oily and scented stuff. Really stinky. Cast it out a little. Um, right now I'm trying to catch some rockfish, sculpin, or a flounder. Let it sink down to the bottom. You know when you're on the bottom when your line kind of floats and doesn't move? Lost it. Sink back down to the bottom. Kind of jig it. 
and I'm gonna go grab a piece of bait because I want this to hurry up. So right here we got salmon eggs and one of those fins on the bottom. Cast it kind of in the middle right here. The first fish I ever caught was probably a wing cod about this big. I was on one of our friend's boats and we went jigging for ling cod and we caught this gigantic ling cod. That's my first fish. This is gonna be like my thousands. Right here we have a copper rockfish. You can eat these, but this one's a little too small. And when you use salmon skin, you always get the salmon skin back. They water through their gills, and they survive. When I was fishing over there and I dropped down with a salmon reel, I should have been using a halibut reel because I, caught, I had this halibut on this big and it snapped my line. I was fishing in um, Creek Street Creek and I caught two 30 pound kings. One was white and one was pink. And we made locks out of one and we, um, oh, and we cooked the other one plain, blackened and stuff. You make locks with sugar Oh my. Sugar, salt, and dill. Right here we have another copper rockfish. Still have my bait. This is about the size they get here. Sometimes you can catch widow rockfish, but the biggest one of these I've ever caught here was probably about this big. So he had a fish on, but he lost the bait. My name is Isaac, I am 10 years old, and I've fished here, I don't know how long. Oh, We got some herring. Herring. We're gonna see if she works. My friend Isaac is fishing and he caught this copper rockfish and he has a fish head in his spine this for some reason. <laughs> I think that's the reason he got cast. Hey not! Oh yeah! You need to tighten that dress. Fish. 
Yes. Yes. Watch out. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I just caught this copper rockfish. For some reason, for some reason, I catch on. I keep on catching little tiny rockfish. Maybe because I have a very tiny hook. Seagulls poking my head, not fun. I said, Seagulls, stop it now. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it back with a magnet. Uh, right now, I am fishing for my knife I dropped in. And I hope I catch it because I really need it. Just long enough. <clears throat> Okay, let's pull this thing up. I think I see something pink. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm done for the day. All right, so we're gonna be using this to catch those little tiny shiner, shiner perch under there. And this is one of the best hooks for them because it's small and they hold them really tight. Jensen Cove Bobber. I'm kind of doing this for the camera because it might sacrifice this bobber. So I just read a Knitson Cove um, key floater. You should really get one of these. You probably need it if you're down here all the time and the little fishing hook I was using earlier. And, and we can always get it back with my fishing rod. That's what you look like when you reel off your fishing rod. <laughs> it's not really. Why are we talking about sausage? I don't know why. I'll catch a fish real quick. Ah, uh, I'm tangled. Still have him. There he is. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Oh. What is that? Wait, what? Oh. You want a log? That's my fishing. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
we're here in the studio and we're gonna watch the Crab Pot GoPro film. Nobody has seen it yet, and let's check it out. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be getting darker. I think we're good. I see bottom. Look at all the tiny fish. Whoa. Whoa, look at all the salmon carcasses. Oh wow, look at all the shiner perch. You're gonna see a lot of shiner perch in this. I really enjoy having everybody from the family down here enjoying things. We've seen, uh, I think the record off the dock is a 200 plus pound halibut. I know you've pulled up big halibut before. Um, and just, just hanging out. I like coming down and seeing the cleaning table and how many guys are using that in the evening. It's all fun. <laughs> 